Hey Geometry, we are still in Unit 6. We're starting Lesson 7, Distances and Parabolas. First of all, let's do a notice and wonder. Well, back up before we do that. I just wanted to tell you, like these are the vocabulary words we're learning today. Parabola, focus, and directrix. That is an R. D-I-R-E-C-T-R-I-X. Directrix. Those are the things we're learning today. Um, but let's go back to the notice and wonder. What do we notice? What do we wonder? These are my favorite things to do in the classroom um, because like you could already know what these things are, but you can still, um, and you can input, or you cannot know anything. You cannot know where you are <laughs> and still be able to input. So um, I always get bummed when we get one of these things for a warm up because uh, we can't talk. But what do you notice? What do you wonder? Anyone? Well, I wonder why there is a such thing as a spider with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten legs, because that looks like a big old spider with angry eyes and ten legs. But that's not what it is. So, um, I notice that if I connected all the dots, it kind of looks like a parabola. Right? I wonder if this F has anything to do with the word focus. And I also wonder what this horizontal line is. Is it the x-axis? Or is it the directrix? That's the best I can do today, guys. <clears throat> All right, moving into our activity synthesis. Um, what we're really looking at right now is a parabola. We see that if we connect all those dots, we have a parabola. A parabola is made from a quadratic equation. Oops. You remember that from algebra? Parabola is made from a quadratic equation. And it's of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. When we graph it, we say y equals. So it's a parabola made from a quadratic equation. When the first term is positive, it's a happy parabola. When the first term is negative, it's sad. Okay, it opens up, it opens down. Happy, sad, right? All right. The other vocabulary we learned, the other vocabulary words we learned when we were learning about parabolas were things like vertex. Do you remember what a vertex is? A vertex, if we have a happy parabola, it's the lowest point. And it's an ordered pair. If we have an unhappy parabola, it's the highest point. That's the vertex. We also call it the maximum or the minimum, and it's also an xy pair. Okay, what other things do I need to remind you from algebra? Um, let's do the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is a line. I can draw it through either one. It always goes through the vertex, and it is a line x equals a number, okay? For both the happy parabola and the sad parabola. It's a line x equals a number. And it's always the x value of the vertex, too. Lots of information here with no example, which I know is hard, but we'll get to it, right? Um, let me think. Axis of symmetry, vertex, quadratic. I think we've hit a lot of the review. Um, if you didn't write the stuff down, I would, and maybe in a better way than I did with all the sideways writing that I did, which is very bad form for me. All right, let's go back to... 
um, what the book has given us, okay, activity synthesis. We see that that right there is, in fact, the focus. I know I was being silly earlier, okay? The focus is um, a point, and it's um, a point that gives us uh, an equidistance. I'm doing the tick marks like we did earlier from the focus to the parabola and the parabola to the directrix. Okay, so what we know is like that is equal to this, this one. So the focus is the distance from the point to the parabola that's equal from the parabola to the directrix. We'll get to directrix in a minute. Um, oh, that should be three tick marks. Okay, four, etc. So I can say that a parabola is the set of all points set of all points that are equidistant from a given point. And that point is the focus. So parabola, the set of all points that are equidistant from a given point, the focus, and the directrix. Okay, a lot to write down. I tried to talk a little slower than normal so you had a chance to write stuff down. But, um, all right, that's what I got. <clears throat> okay, moving on. All right, into focus. <clears throat> section two. There's usually three parts to our lesson, and we're only in lesson or section two, the second part. So this might be a little bit longer. And for that, I apologize, but we'll do our best. Um, here are several images of parabolas. Look at the focus and the directrix. The directrix is, the directrix is the blue line, the horizontal line, and the focus is the dot with the F. In each case, the directrix is the x-axis. No, yeah. In each case, the directrix is the x-axis. How does the distance between the focus and the directrix affect the shape of the parabola? So how does the distance between the focus and the directrix affect the shape of the parabola. Um, let's see, different pen. Focus to directrix is a unit of one. Focus directrix is a unit of three. Focus to the directrix is one, two, three, four, five. Here we have <coughs> Two and five, I'd like to compare those two. One's happy, one's sad, and two. So comparing those two is pretty interesting too. So something that we have noticed is as the distance from the focus to directrix. Gets bigger. The parabola gets wider, flatter, whatever word you'd like to use. Cool. All right, so that was number one. What seems to need to be true in order for the parabola to open upward or downward? That is, it's shaped like a hill instead of a valley. Um, <laughs> upward is, this would be sad, 
what seems to be true in order for the parabola to open downward, that is, to be shaped like a hill instead of a valley. It's a sad parabola. So what do you think? Just looking at the vertex, um, sorry, the focus and the directrix, what, haps, haps, what has to happen? My goodness, my words are all tangled up today. Um, I would say the focus needs to be under or below the directrix for it to open down. And then three, the vertex of the parabola is the lowest point on the curve if it opens upward. Or the highest if it opens downward. Where is the vertex lo located in relationship to the focus and the directrix? What do you guys think? Where is the vertex located? Okay, it's in between. And in fact, more accurately, it is halfway. Let's actually use the word. Halfway between the focus and directrix. Or you could say midway. Or you could say accurately midpoint. A very mathematical term. All right. Um, I copied, so sorry, number four says in the final image, the directrix is on the x axis and the focus is point two, comma two. Point P on the parabola is plotted. What is the distance between point P and the directrix? So that final image I copied here from the previous slide. What is the distance from point P to the directrix? Oops. Oh, it's white. That's this distance right here, and we can count it. One, two, three, four, five. Um, what does this tell you about the distance between P and F? That distance. That tells us that that should also be 5. So let's go ahead and test it. I'm going to draw a triangle here. This is 3 units. That is 4 units. 3, three squared plus 4 squared equals C squared, which is that distance. 9 plus 16 is 25, so C equals 5. So we did learn here that the distance from here to here, from the point P to the focus, is the same as point P to the directrix. Okay, and it should be equal. That's what we learned in the first slide. I just did a tick mark. Those two tick marks should be perfectly equal, right? So if we quickly looked at one, another one, <clears throat> I have point B on the parabola. I'm going to count, and sorry, my directrix is not the x-axis, but I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ooh, nope. One, sorry. Yeah, we can take the y value, which is 7.5, and subtract 1, and we get 6.5. Or I can count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and a half. So that's the distance from the directrix to point B. So point B to the focus should be the same. I know that F is on four comma five. So my distance here is actually 7.5 minus five, which is 2.5. And this distance is one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can test it. 6 squared plus 2.5 squared would equal c squared. 36 plus, I don't know, 2.5 the heart. 6.25 equals c squared. 6.25 plus 36 is 42.25. If I take the square root of both of those, C equals 6.5, and it should, because we learned that this distance and that distance is equal. You know, to me, it never looks equal, but we just proved that it is, okay? 
All right, last bit. I know it's a long one. You guys are doing awesome though, I can tell. The image shows a parabola with focus six comma four and directrix y equals zero, so it's on the x-axis. The point 11, five looks like it might be on the parabola. 11, five, oops, um, sorry, 11, five. Looks like it might be on the parabola. Determine if it really is on the parabola and explain or show your reasoning. So I'm gonna look at it a bit more mathematically this time and not drawing lines. Um, the point is 11, five. And we're, we wanna find the distance from the point to the directrix, which is x equals, sorry, y equals, the line is y equals zero. So we're just gonna do five minus zero, that distance is five. We say it looks like it though. Now we're going to look at we want to see what that distance is. So we're doing 11 5 to our focus which is on 6 comma 4. So the a distance is going to be the y distance, which is 5 minus 4. And then the b distance is going to be the x distance, which is 11 minus 6. So we're saying that 5 squared plus 1 squared is equal to 5 squared. Well, it's not because those are supposed to be equal, but I got this addition going on in the middle, so that doesn't work. So it is not on the parabola. All right, if we take the time to do this again, so we just did one. If we take the time to do this again, um, point 1410, looks like it might be on, it's up there. Um, determine if it really is. So our directrix is still y equals zero, so the distance from that point to the directrix is 10 minus zero, which is 10. Now we need to check the point to the focus. So 14 comma 10, the distance from that to six comma four. So we're gonna subtract our y's to find that distance. 10 minus four is six, that's our a, value in the drawing and then 14 minus 6 is 8 that's our b value in the drawing so let's check it 6 squared plus 8 squared should equal 10 squared 36 plus 64 is in fact equal to 100 so it does work that one is on the parabola number three last bit in general how can you determine if a particular point x y is on the parabola well, we take the distance from the point to the directrix, and compare it with, I'm having some technical difficulty, the distance from the point to the focus. Cool, that's it. Excellent work on this one. A bit longer, but I know you guys stuck with it, and um, let me know if you have any questions.